Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 3 of Divinity Original Sin on the Xbox One X. We haven't moved exactly where we were at the end of part 2. I'm uh, just going to do a little bit of jigging around here with the... Well, we keep picking things up on the one character, so I just want to make sure we've got an even spread here. So we can use stuff in battle and out of battle as it happens, because... As Jason's telling me, these bed rolls can be used outside of battle to get your health back. And your shield's back. Irrelevant of where you are. So we shall give one to the Red Prince. And funnily enough, I picked three up on the ship. Uh, four, as it happens. And one to Skeletor over there. <laughs> or Fane, as he's actually called. And I'm sure we end up with a fourth person in our party. So we've got a spare one there. And keep the shovel on him for now. Bottle of beer. Bottle of beer. On the silencing of source. We have too long presumed Source as a virtuous part of civil society, yet we need look no further into the past of the Source King's reign to understand the havoc of such magics wreak. One day, another order must follow in the Source Hunter's footsteps. Sorcerers can, must be, muted. The new model of Source collars provided by Vredaman is proving most effective. Seems reasonable. Have a note there. My sweet Stephen, or Stefan, whichever way you want to say it. As I write this letter, we near the aisle. By the time the owl delivers it, I will be but a day away. I've heeded Alexander's orders, just as you said I should. But I think of Lucian often. Would the divine have condoned this? Would he have blessed us... As we rip children from their mothers, can this be the only way? God, it sounds like America. <laughs> Let's separate them all at the border. Throw them into different corners of the land. <laughs> I feel, God, that was political, people, for this early in the evening. <laughs> I feel cold inside and out. Of one thing I am certain, your arms will warm me when I find you again with love. Old Ricks. Eh? Very good. I'm just checking that we've not picked up anything of uh, great worth here. It'll give us a, a spell or a perk or something. Okay. Right, we'll leave it as is. We've got a minor healing potion and a healing potion. So minor over there. Yeah, not overly blessed with healing potions, are we? A healing spell is what we're after, really. All right, that'll do for now, I think. Now we can add them to hot bar as well, can't we? So. Add to wares, hold in hand, add to... Uh... Alright, oh, must be there already. I can add to hotbar on this one. Oh, is it because I'm not on that character? Is that what it is? Seems reasonable. Ah, oh. <laughs> for God's sake. Quite clearly not what I wanted to do. Well, there's a health potion gone, people. Never mind. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's already in the hot bar for there, and it's already in the hot bar for there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in the way of healing things at the minute, spell wise. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Okay, well, that's probably about five minutes of uh, excitement too much for you all. Let's crack on. Cat's still with us, following us around. Uh, it's wise to quick save before entering high risk areas. Press the menu button and bring up the game menu. Click quick save. Seems reasonable. Right at the top, Steve. Thank you. Right, I think we've got a bit of talking to do here, people. I've got my eye on you, Moss Muncher. Don't try any of that sauce business on my watch or I'll do to you what the hammer did to that traitor. Call me a Moss Muncher. <laughs> Sounds iffy at best. Ask him what he's talking about. Say you don't appreciate being spoken to like that. Elf, say you'd prefer to consume Moss than his flesh. All you'd see consuming him would be memories of bullies and impotence. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Right the scene. The bishop himself with his right hand laid down the law on a traitor among our own ranks. One of the last lizard magisters left. Burst into quite the bloody mess she did. Ask what more he knows about Bishop Alexander and Dallas. Ask when you'll be allowed to leave this place. Ask how he came to guard here. So in the time of Lucian, of course. Who wouldn't join up with God himself? It was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. Ask him how he came, uh, ask him how he can know the will of the divine. Wonder aloud if the divine really would have approved of a place like Fort Joy. Uh, ask him how he can know. For certain. But I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <coughs> waste the gift. You protect it with everything you've got. So that's what we do. <clears throat> uh, ask what more he knows about Bishop Alexander and Dallas. Bishop's a son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime all the same. And the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> Ask when we can leave. When you give up the darkness that's inside you. Take your fault, it's there, mine. But it's there all the same. They're working on a cure for you even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <coughs> <coughs> You can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. Oh, that sounds amazing. I'd rather keep me magics, though, if you don't mind. Magister Sevic. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. Say you're not sure what she means. The geists, dummy. The Hammer and Alexander had two in tow just a moment ago. Ugh, thought you lot would be interested in a thing like that. Say you don't need to know all the Divine Order's horrors by name. <laughs> Notice something in her tone and ask why she thinks you'd be especially interested in geists. Ah, no reason. Settle in, eh? A Magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. The High Priest is up to his hood and sinners these days. Well, that was a short conversation. Right, God. Were you quick? Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexandra and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. Say so you must have missed out on the fun. Ask who he means. Tell the man you were close enough to watch them murder one of their own. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. 
Say that everyone is a traitor to someone. The divine order is all that stands between everything you see and avoid Woken's throat. Any traitor to them is a traitor to us all. Believe it or don't. The divine order doesn't need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of ourselves. That's him told. Have you, cud? Dear one, help me teach this beast. He must respect. Elodie. She looks cute. Respect? Huh. Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you got to make it so hard? An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan. Ifan. Ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Stand beside Ifan and tell the thug to back off. Yep. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me before more of them trouble us. Ooh, things seem to go all upgraded there. There is a safe place. Follow the sexy elf, everyone. Oh, I can now quick travel to nowhere because I've not been anywhere yet. Follow the white rabbit people or the red flag as it happens in this case. I think we might have a level up, don't we? Just have to check that in a minute. I think we've got a level up in the fight, but I don't think I did anything with it. Hey, doggy. Hey, boy. Oh, girl. Oh, cave. <laughs> Still not mastered in these games. People actually walking into things. They just vanish at doorways. Ah, a little reprieve from the din outside. Caverns. Very good. Well, I tell you what, we'll speak to the main woman first, shall we? Thank you for your help with that, thug. Our kind of few here. We must help each other. That we must. Say you are happy to help? She bows. Ask if she knows of any way out of the fort. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. Say so you'd like to know who's in charge around here? Ask how she came to Fort Joy. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Say you'd like to know who's in charge. In this cave, we trust the healer. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. <laughs> he who gives the bread has the power. There's a phrase for you. Wait, before you go. 
Yes. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. A severed head. Thank you. Uh, choose your reward. Oh, hello, armor. You can't get me. Choose what? Choose your reward. You will receive. All oh, right. Okay. So the things at the bottom I'm getting anyway seems reasonable. I see. You're too slow. You found a special arrow. These arrows have magical properties and can be used by anyone carrying a bow or a crossbow. Seem reasonable. Bit of coin kicking around, isn't there? That'd be stealing that one. Whoever kills the other is the boss. You can't get me. See what these two have got to say about it? No. Oh. <laughs> or sit down. I'm gonna go. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? Ah, Sahila. She's the one she was talking about as the sort of leadery type person, I think. Tell her that's none of her business. Ask how she knows about that. Say it's been quite the journey so far. She laughs and looks around as though taking in the scenery, though her eyes are still covered. Many people to meet, many stones to turn, and there is a great joy here, as though the walls and water themselves were made by many smiling gods. Even if we are here under unhappy circumstances, still I feel it. Uh, choices didn't seem to change there, did they? Ask how she knows about that. I see it before my eyes. Tell her you're not here to talk about your private life. Say you've heard fast seeing is as much a burden as a gift. Say you don't believe in fast seeing. Yes, fast seeing is as much a burden as a gift. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Say you'd like to ask a few questions. Yes, please ask. Ask why she covers her eyes. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken, but I see all the same. Ask who took her eyes and why? He is a very blind man. It seems reasonable he'd want them then. But not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. Ask why she and the others are holed up in a dark cave, in a dank cave. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. Say you're looking for a way out of Fort Joy. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? 
He knows how to leave. Amiro knows. We need to find him. Ask about this Amiro. My protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. Promise you'll help her friend? You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Well, is that the red lizard we already have? The red prince, perhaps? No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. We do not have many in my tribe anymore. And in yours? Say it is the same yet among, our, uh, among your people. Children are few and far between. Say you haven't been home in a long time, you wouldn't know. Uh, few and far between. I never know how lucky we are. There was a big chest back here. It's probably stealing, but yeah, it's stealing. Also, I thought our white bar would have gone up to full. It doesn't seem to have done, does it? I feel him, but I do not see him. Must be missing a trick on that one. Like the lizard's got two protection bars. Whereas the skeleton doesn't have any, and I don't. I only have half. I'll tell you what, we can have a look at, however. Level up time. Go through all the tabs and spend available points to become more powerful. That seems reasonable. Status. Two points to spend. I feel it, I now we are elvish and bow and arrow, so finesse increases your damage with finesse based weapons and skills. Currently finesse based attacks and skills do ten percent extra damage. Uh, but what is a finesse? Would help if you told us what a finesse is, is that a bow? Determines intelligence based damage you deal. Uh, well, intelligence is going to be magic. Constitution is going to be your health, isn't it? Vitality you have, yeah. Mm, memory affects your amount of memory slots, which are required to learn skills. More powerful skills cost more memory slots. So that's going to be important. Wits affect your critical chance initiative. And your ability to detect traps and find hidden treasures. Right, so going by the fact we're on 12 fin finesse already, I think that's going to be our bone stuff. So we'll have a point there and possibly a point here. Doesn't seem to... Oh, there you go. Damage. Six to eight. Six to seven. Well, the first point we put on didn't seem to do any change in the, de the finesse damage. Six to seven, and that's six to seven. That only goes up to six to eight there. Which is a bit odd. You're only going to get a change every two points. I feel him, but I do not see him. Critical chance two percent. 
Initiative 12. Yeah, okay. So we'll go with... We'll go with that. Uh, let's do two finesse, get our damage up. Got one ability point, so we've got ranged, two-handed. Well, we want ranged, don't we? Ranged increases damage and critical chance when using bows and crossbows. So that's got a, that's a given. Bartering persuasion, lucky charm. Lawmaster, yeah, if I remember rightly, that's your knowledge of the world. Helps you in conversations and stuff, if it's the same as the last game. Identifies enemies and allows you to identify items. Increasing Lawmaster allows you to identify... Oh, that's right, yeah. Identifying the weapons and stuff. Lucky Charm increases your likelihood of finding extra treasure wherever you loot is stashed. Wherever loot is stashed, sorry. Cheaper items. Well, I'm not sure about this one. Telekinesis allows you to move items telepathically regardless of weight. All oh, right, okay. Next level one, up to four meter range. I, uh, I've got. A f I remember that being particularly handy for getting through areas as it happens, and even placing things in battle if you want to place things before you get stuck into a fight. Oil barrels and all that sort of stuff. Okay, uh, make your mind up, Steve. Let's do some persuasion, I think. Right, I think that'd be us, people. I'm going to assume this saves the minute I come out of it. I know okay, right, okay, so we kind of know what we're doing now. It should be a bit quicker for the others if we are... Oh, he's got a level up. All right, fair enough. It was just the one character. State your business. Ask if you may walk freely here. Certainly. You may not be a lizard, but your kind are hardly so bad as the humans. If it's trade you're looking for, I've made a habit of procuring items that can prove rather useful inside these walls. Ask if he has anything that might interest you. That's for you to decide. Ah. Minor strength potion. Ah, resurrection scrolls. How much are they? 891 words! The star represents the trader's attitude towards you. My first bow. <laughs> My little pony. Well, he has got some kit that we may not have yet. Um, we certainly don't have a belt. Too 
Leather pants, rawhide scale pants. Wow, they're pretty good. 208 though. We've got some stuff we can sell though, to be fair. Five physical, one magic. Three physical, two magic. Uh, yeah, I need to watch the balance here. I need I need protection in both areas, don't I, really? Let's see what we've got to sell. Not sure whether we're equipped with the uh, if we're meant to use a crossbow or not. shield let's have a quick look at the equipment shall we let's see what we've got hey wrong one Stephen yeah I've still not got any shoes as it happens you sort that out gloves we've got uh, five and three. Hmm. I thought I just. Or is it that I've picked up stuff that's not for this character then? Because I'm pretty sure that. Ah, there we go. So it's boots we're missing, people. Ah, right, there you go. So our character now has a blue bar and a white bar, so that's where that was coming in. Protection comes from what you're wearing. It's not like an automatic thing. So we've got half magic protection, half physical protection. Skeletor's got none, Lizard's got a bit. Yeah, he's not looking too strong at all, is he? Let's see what we got. Seems reasonable. Okay, could use some more coinage here.
The soldier stands to it. Well, the soldier stands to attention. All right. <laughs> I was going to say, why well, can't I buy anything from him now? What's that about? Well, the boots have got two physical armour on them. So we could at least protect ourselves with some at. Right, uh, okay. Right, let's get some clothing on this guy. Two physical, three physical, nice. Gloves. Uh, we're gonna put those on main character for now. Ah, uh, he had, yeah, he's got protection on his shield. That's why he had a blue bar. There you go. Excellent. Making progress, people. I think we might have had a spare hat, to be fair. Two physical armor. Nice. Check that shiz out, people. What? <laughs> what like an Egyptian. Excellent. Right, uh, I think that's as much as we could do, aside from sticking our boots on, people. Nice. Right, feeling somewhat more protected now. I think we need to go for a wander and stop buying stuff and finding stuff instead. The child ignores you and continues with her game. Ask the child what she's playing. I'm playing. Helen, hero of the whole world. That was my mum's name. She died when the void woken came. I'm glad I asked now. <laughs> that wasn't depressing. I haven't brought up any emotions in that child whatsoever. Uh, tell the child you're very sorry to hear she lost her mother. Suddenly, the child's face crinkles into a grimace. She seems on the verge of sobbing when her face suddenly goes still and blank. She smiles at you and continues her game. Well, I was glad to cheer her up. <laughs> right, we've spoken to those two. Wait. We've spoken to her. There is an area through here. Uh... Sure. All right, we've got a top-down view. Didn't realise. I think we need someone that's got the ability to lift things up. <laughs> well, that'll do it then. The cat's eyes are cloudy. Oh, for God's sake, will that cat please sod off?
have this feeling that I'm not meant to go through here yet. The cat's eyes are clear. It appears. Can you attack the cat? <laughs> Whoa. Poison. How about... Yeah, that was ignition, fossil strike. Sets burning for two turns. Exploration points, thank you. Why do I feel like we're going to end up in a fight here that I'm just not equipped for? Three physical armor leggings. Water arrow, very good. Heals 10% vitality, 10% poison resistance. Poisoned fish pie. One poisoned fish pie. Alright, it's actual pie, not a book. Poisoned bottle of beer. But be careful we don't drink these and eat these by mistake. that you travel go on then bark away let's see if we can find any method in it okay we need to try and remember what the there we go sure to split them up a little bit so they're not constantly running into each other A melted dwarf. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush. Go away up. Then we'll have a save, people. <laughs> Just in cases. This could end badly. Do we use something a bit more extreme like a fire arrow or something?
Christ's sake, half my bloody shield and my health's gone already. Just do a stand in one, see what happens. Well, that took no health off, did it? I think we've gone way beyond ourselves here, people. <laughs> I think we're going to be reloading this shortly. Uh... Breathe flames in a cone, dealing 6-7 damage, leaving fire surface behind. Provides physical armour while fortified. Of no use to anyone. I can't hit anything with this. <laughs> well, it did some damage anyway, <laughs> at the very least. Play dead. Full enemies are thinking you're dead. Cooldown of skills will be paused. Any actions you take will cancel this status. A giant rock filled with sticky oil. Yeah, that's kind of what we're after, isn't it? Well, I was going to follow that up with some fire, but I wasn't allowed. Well, so much for bloody fortify. Did nothing. It was physical damage, though, right enough. I think all I've done there is hurt myself. <laughs> I thought that was gonna, I thought that was going to hit up here as well. God damn it! You put me in charge. If anything, I'm more curious just to see how long I could survive in this fight. Uh... Glory is mine. I don't think glory is yours. Restore the physical armour and magic armour of your shield. Seems reasonable.
Who's the lowest? What? Still alive. Where's... <laughs> Where did all that health go again? Well, that shield, should I say. Right, well, I don't seem to have... anything that can hit this dude. So we're a bit stuck in it. I'm confused as to how to use a, an item here. You not use these in battle then. Not Adasto's turn. Well, what the hell? All right, okay. I see. Fucking unbelievable. Well, that's the end of that fight then. Oh, there's two of them left. There was only one. Well, I'm not going to waste any more. Uh... Resurrection spells. Because I'm going to have to reload this anyway. Still burning though, isn't he? There's a bit of a cooldown on these moves. I don't really have anything to. Uh... <laughs> Just be like me to bloody win this fight with one person. What's that all about? Mm. 
Well, that didn't work, did it? Oh, hello. I think I'm not quite going to make it, am I? Ignition, is it? I don't believe it. How did I win that fight, people? And I've got to waste two resurrection scrolls. For the lover guard. Excellent. Well, I'm not sure we can go much further. I, I mean, half of my not to carry on, because uh, these bloody scrolls are... If I remember in the last game, they were actually limited. They're bloody hard to find them, and... I'm using them like sweets at the minute. So you should do everyone, doesn't it? You just use it once. Didn't need to put that in everyone's bar then, really. I see. Right, well... Uh, I think we'll do a second save. So we've got Caverns Staff, a water staff at that, Grant Skill, Staff of Magus, Trap Disarming Kit, Highlight a Trap, press X and select Disarm Trap. Money? Yeah, how do you get the stuff off of. Oh, mind you, suppose, I don't. done her. Mage's Pants. Restore vitality of a target character. Restoration also cures poison and bleeding. Bit annoying we can't get the stuff from the frog at the top here. I guess you need a teleport type thing to get you up there. Well, if ever anyone wanted Mage's Pants, I think it's this guy. I think he's got three physical on at the minute. Uh, 
That was a staff, wasn't it? That's what it was. Staff's got two to three poison. Level two. Yeah, it's a lot better, isn't it? Nine to ten water. Level three. Staff of Majus. I wonder if I'm being stupid here in that. Takes your movement down by one, that crossbow. Toy crossbow. Strength of 10. All oh, right, okay. Well, I've got 10 strength, I think. The physical axe, is that for the big fella? Five to seven. Five to six. Five percent critical chance as well. Range one point two. Same. Let's change that over. Seems reasonable. Well, as it happens, people, we do seem to have uh, hit the hour marker here. It was like one fight for... Uh, if it's going to be one fight per episode. <laughs> we might be here a while, people. Coinage, very nice. Ooh, four physical armor. That's quite smart. Sharp rock. Cheese. Chest down there, look. Find a way down there, though. Oh, we can. Duh. Checking that I couldn't go up that rock anywhere else, but can't. Well, I think we're at a dead end here. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. Other than back. It was a bit of a test of a fight, which was good. I think our work here is done, people. Well, that's not bad then. I'm glad I gave it a go. I nearly quit out of that fight when we got hammered at the beginning. So I'm glad I kept going. Yeah, it's a dead end, this, isn't it? And we're going to need some sort of teleport skill to get down there. By the looks of it. So frustrating we can't get up to that other frog and get the loot from it. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, we're back. The frogs are gone. The children shall be safer. Yay. I see the good in you. I see all of you. Thank you. Wow. We did something good, people. No one tells me there are so many children in this fort, Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. Say that children are necessary for a stable population. An elf lives forever. If she stays away from spears and fire, she has no need for slimy, sticky, small ones. Well, that's one way to look at it, I suppose, but making them's fun. <laughs> Easy. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she... Hello, dear prince. I do not mean to disturb you. Oh. <laughs> Just... Never mind. How do I help you? Well, I think that's it. I was just wondering if there was anything else that we needed to do to finish off that quest. Thank you for your help with that, thug. No doubt he turns on you next. These humans hate us. Say you are happy to help. I think I've already done this, haven't I? She bows. Way out of the fort. No escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters. Through yeah, the we've done this. We've done all of this. Thank you. Uh, that was a dead end. Although, there's a hole, people. There's a hole. This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. Yeah, we need someone that can turn into an animal, don't we? Turn into a mouse or something. I feel him, but I do not see him. Entrance to the ghetto. That was the guy we bought stuff from. Right, well, I think we have... dealt with this cave so we will go out on the in the next part we will go back out into the ghetto and have another wander about and see what triggers i think we did uh our journal was flashing constantly and it looks like we can craft stuff as well improvise staff no health potions as yet You have created improvised wand. <laughs> Very good. I didn't mean to do that, but anyway. View the quest marker on the map. All oh, right, okay. So you hit the back button or whatever it's called now. So these are all quests by the looks of it. All right, okay. So the little flags are, yeah. So if it's got a flag next to it, you can view it on the map by hitting the that button. There we go. So we've got a quest marker taking it outside. All right, just toggle it. Excellent. Same. So everything we have to do at the moment. Yeah. I'm hoping it stays this way and we do get good markers like this. The last one sort of wandered aimlessly quite a lot. All right, there we are, people. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this part three of Divinity Original Sin 2. And I shall be back with part four as quickly as I possibly can. Take it easy, folks. Bye.